friends, I am Lainey. Hi, and Marshall. Today we're going to talk about a couple books that just, well, one of them just came out. The other one came out, I think, last year or maybe earlier last year. I don't know. Um, but they are two books that belong together, so we're going to talk about them together. And that is American Royals and American Royals 2 colon majesty and they are written by Catherine McGee and um as I talk about these books I'm kind of talking about them together as if they're one long story because quite honestly I read it right after one right after the other and I felt like it was just one huge story uh, so uh American Royals is the uh supposition that uh, when they asked George Washington if he wanted to be president, he actually said yes instead of no. And so there is now a monarchy in the United States and we are in the present day following Beatrice, who is the queen-to-be, uh, her sister, who is Samantha. They also call her the Spare because if something happens to Beatrice, she's the Spare. There's Daphne. She's the ex of their brother, Jeff. And there is Nina. And Nina is basically Samantha's childhood friend who is a commoner, but she is has been very involved in the lives of not only Beatrice, but of Samantha and her twin brother, Jeff. So it follows those point, four points of view. Uh, what is happening is that Samantha and Jeff have just returned from this world tour that they have been doing and Beatrice is of course doing her queen lessons and Daphne is very much plotting to get back her ex-boyfriend Jeff uh, because she made a mistake and basically kissed Jeff's best friend and Jeff said no no and decided that decided that he was really in love with Nina who is of course their childhood friend right so it goes through this whole thing where they need Beatrice to find a husband you know as as the monarchy needs apparently because they feel like as a woman she won't be taken seriously unless she has a husband so they throw a big ball and they have like you know 12 people love uh, I think like 12 guys or whatever that come to meet her and uh one guy one of those guys actually finds her sister and uh they start making out in the closet she the sister samantha does not know that this guy is actually in the lineup to be with the queen um he does know he's in the running but he doesn't think he has a chance so he doesn't really care so when he is chosen, because he really is this down to earth, caring guy that isn't trying to marry her for power, he's just, he just likes her and he, he feels like, you know, he needs to also because his family is running out of money. But at the same time, he is willing to give it up if he has to. So he's just kind of like, you know, he has the right motives. Um, but the sister, like Beatrice, has no idea that her sister has feelings for this guy. It is very like drama drama, okay? Um, so that is basically the premise of book number one. Book number two, I'm not going to tell you how this happens, but Beatrice finds herself thrust into being queen. Uh, very unexpectedly and as such they're trying to get her married off before she gets her coronation. I'm guessing a death is involved somewhere, right? There could be a death. There could be a death. Yes. Maybe two. There could be I, a death. I'm guessing. Yes. Uh, I believe that, th okay, so yeah, as we're going through all of this too, so I think stuff happens like in the other storyline. So, uh, Daphne turns out to be kind of this really bad gold digger woman okay yeah very bad she's very bad uh very conniving and evil what you also find out in the first book which i forgot to mention is that one of her best friends is in a coma because of an accident that happened during their graduation party and you know she has that daphne has something to do with it but you don't know why. And that's a kind of a mystery that runs through the whole thing. So in the second book, you're trying to figure out if Beatrice and her 
you know, fiance Teddy are really going to get married because there's just issues, you know, because of her sister, really. Um, and honestly, Beatrice doesn't know if she wants to get married because she's fallen in love with a guy who is part of her security guard, who is a commoner, and of course she can't marry him um, because he's a commoner. And uh, so she's torn between marrying this guy that she kind of likes and a guy that she really loves and also the monarchy itself. Like, does she really want a husband? She doesn't know. She kind of thinks she wants to be free. So she's wrestling for all of this. So that is the premise of those two books. I know it sounds very soap opera-y. If you are a fan of The Selection, Princess Diaries, this is exactly the kind of book that you would like because it's it's very close to that. But there are a lot of like storylines that are very different because you're adding in, you know, the sister and you're adding in the childhood friend to all of this that's going on as well. I'm, I'm wondering though, like, how much does it actually get into the royal side of it? Like, you say that there's queen lessons, does it actually get into what those queen lessons are? Yes, uh, it does very vaguely, but you do know what it is she's studying, mm -hmm. what she needs to do to uh, become a better monarch. Yes, okay. it does get into that. Um, the more I think about it after I've read these two books, the more I really do think that if you have read um, Princess Diaries, there's a lot of the same tropes that happen in the two Princess Diary movies that happen in these two books. Uh, but they are done in a different way. If you've read the Selection series, which is kind of like The Bachelor meets, you know, princes and royalty, um, it, there are a lot of the same tropes in that as well. If you've read The Air Affair and uh, The Royal We, also same things. I just don't know how much different you can get when you have this topic and it's all about like young rulers, right? It's yeah. probably going to be the same thing. But that doesn't mean that the writing wasn't good. It was very good. I really liked at least two of the characters and really felt their struggle of what they were going through with relationships. Um, I also think that they did kind of leave it open for a third book, which is great because I did like the characters. But there were definitely points where I felt like these books were a little too long. They could have been shortened up a little bit. They didn't need to have as much as they did <laughs> in the way of the plot line. Mm -hmm. uh, so I gave both of them four stars because I think it could have been tightened up. But I really like the story. I kind of think I liked it more than uh, the Royal We series. Uh, but that was just, I think, because it was a little bit shorter and they had more interesting characters to me. Thank you so much for watching our little review of American Royals, but until next time. Stay zany. Bye-bye.